We are moving to... What is up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. We've been waiting to film this video for, for how a long, long time. It's finally <laughs> here. We bought a house. Our dream house. And we wanted to show you guys, but also we wanted to play a little trick on you guys. Just we have been house shopping secretly for months, you guys. Like, and I time. wanted to spill the beans for so long. We put an offer on three houses, two of which were accepted. And we're going to show you all three. And you guys are going to guess what house we went with. All of them were great houses. They were amazing houses. Um, but one of them to us is the perfect house. The perfect house, yeah. And I'm curious to see like what you guys will think that is. Yeah, and to see what you think like would be our perfect fit or what your guys' right. favorite house is. Like if you guys were on the market for these houses, which one you would yeah. pay. Definitely leave comments letting yes. us know what you guys would think. Go down and look through the comments and like the ones that you agree yes. with. Because we want to go through all that feedback and just yeah. like figure out. And it'll be so think. fun to like when we announce what house we got to like go back and see what you guys thought. Yeah. So definitely comment down below. Let us know what you think. We're going to go through all the three houses. We have names picked out for the houses and everything. Mm -hmm. We are moving to... Just kidding. We're not moving anywhere. <laughs> What? <laughs> We're just staying in Utah, but we are moving. Oh. It's just, it's about 20 minutes away from the town that we live in. I now. thought you were just about to say like the house we're moving to. And I was like, we haven't even told <laughs> the houses. I was so confused what you were saying. We've been doing a little bit of packing, as you may have guessed, which was kind of the hint in the yeah, last Yeah, we left a lot of hints. It. But we still have a lot left to do. So you guys yes. will see some of that because we didn't want to like only take you along right at the very end. But mm -hmm. we just wanted to make sure that like everything was good to go. Yeah, we go ahead and get on into it. Let's go ahead and get All on right, into it. All right, let's get on to the first house. What's the Chip and Joanna Giggins show called? Fixer Upper? Okay, we're doing this Fixer Upper style. Yeah. We have names for each house. First house is Pretty in Pink House. Mm -hmm. This house was a brick rambler mm -hmm. and it's got this like amazing like arch almost outside of it, which I love. I'm a sucker for a good arch. It was mm -hmm. so pretty on the outside. It was in a good location. The neighborhood was super cute. The thing that I liked a lot about it was the backyard. It wasn't mm -hmm. very big. That was a con, but it was very well taken care there of. There was the a lot of trees. Nice. It was just like landscaped really nice. Very cottagey feeling. Yeah. And it had like a hookup for a hot tub. Yeah. The downside about this house though is one of the like bedrooms, we would actually be making a bedroom because it was like an empty space. It didn't have a wall. It didn't have a door, so we would have to spend money hiring contractors and building that wall, which is not the biggest downfall. Right. But we would need that extra space because there is only yeah. the two bedrooms upstairs, and we would definitely need three bedrooms right. that we could access. Because the problem is there is a basement area which is giant and amazing, which mm -hmm. has pink tile. That's why it's called pretty and pink. Yes, <laughs> pink tile everywhere. It's very like what year would that have been? I think it was built in the 50s. The whole downstairs was they had spooky. <laughs> It was original and then they had started to renovate it and yeah. then they stopped and it was made to be like a mother-in-law apartment right. that you could like rent out Which could be either pro or con depending on how yeah. you look at it But you had to access it through the garage Right Which again pro and con if you're trying to use it for yourself You don't want to go through the garage to get downstairs Right But if you're renting it out it's nice that it's a different, different separate entrance. entrance So Depends on how you look at depends it Depends how you look at it Kitchen Amazing The kitchen was great That was probably Has one of the this like Chip and Joanna game speaking of Fixer Upper yeah. um, <laughs> Island which was super pretty yeah. The living room was super big. Bathroom that goes out into the backyard. So yeah. it was really easy. You just open the door, dogs run out into the backyard. And, and there was a shower in. too. So There's you could shower, shower the dogs. So if the dogs get muddy, you just right then and there give them a little rinse off and then they come yeah. inside. So the situation for the dogs was ideal. Amazing. Because then we could keep like their like bed and stuff right there next yeah. to the door outside. So it did double as really a laundry great. room. So that this, would be good for the dogs. This, this is a great house for dogs. The next house is the Honey House. This We call this one the Honey House because it has the these bushes outside and there were lots of bees around them. Yeah. <laughs> Which so, I guess is good and bad. I don't know. And, you know, save the bees. Yeah. They were super pretty bushes though. They were like this lilac color and it like covers the full like porch area. Mm -hmm. Super cute. I loved it. I thought it was so pretty. Um, this, this, sorry, go ahead. Bleep. This house was a little bit more expensive. <laughs> this is the most expensive house. Yeah. Um, so that is kind of... Mm. That would be a con to this one. Yes. Um, it is... This house was very like updated yeah. as far as like the decor goes. Like there wasn't a lot... Like with the Pretty and Pink house, we would have to do like a so whole much, basement. Yeah. It would be a lot of work. This, this one, house, the base so is really, really good. The only thing that we would need to do is like we wanted to maybe update the fence. Mm -hmm. If we did anything and that is I paint. think the biggest con of this house yeah. was that it this is not this was not a good house for dogs Yeah, it had a big backyard, but it not doesn't, a fence on one side the fence yeah. Situation was all whack. It was falling over in one part It was just not fenced in one part and then the door that goes to the backyard is like by or like a carport area So yeah. then it's like you can't fence it So you just open the door and let the dogs out you would have yeah. to take them out there so 
this was not a good place for dogs. But good for baby because it did have a play set in yeah, the backyard that set, the sellers yeah. were keeping there. So mm -hmm. that's, it's like a negative plus. Yeah. <laughs> Inside was beautiful. This mm -hmm. one had this like really pretty like detail on the walling. It had great hardwood floors. Yes. Um, those were really pretty. pretty. The windows were amazing in the living room. Yeah. Like big giant windows were Lots there. Lots of natural light, which is great for us. Because, well, Sitting area by the windows too, so the dogs could yeah. like soak up the yeah. sun. But it, it, it was double the square footage of our place right now. It's very big. Really big. Again, a pro and a con because like maybe it would be cool to have a lot of space, you know? Right. But we would have to buy a lot of stuff. Yeah, you know, lots of new decor. Like, and there was also the front room, a living room, and then a living room in the basement. Yeah. We probably wouldn't use the living room area in like. There was no really really to put my gym. I had to think about that with every place because yeah. I really want to move my gym. Yeah. Um. So there really wasn't a good place. It would have to go in the basement or something. The living room is like so much bigger than the living room we have now. Mm -hmm. So if we went with this house, we would have to buy a giant couch. Yeah. Which Lots obviously is a con, kind Especially of. Especially since it's a more expensive house. Yes. But that's it for the honey house. The next one is the Groovy Gamble. I came up with this one in the middle of the night. I thought it was a good name. <laughs> it was very, like, 70s vibe. It was very mid-century. That's the groovy part The people it. that lived there currently, their furniture was very, very groovy. They had a lot of groovy stuff going on. So I thought, you know, it's groovy. But then that's here's the gamble. Very small. The gamblest part of this house is we would need to somehow fix the stairs because there is like an attic space for an office which was so adorable i loved it but the side of the stairs hangs completely off completely <laughs> open to so the living room it would be so easy for a dog yeah. or a child or a baby to just run right off and like yeah. break their necks yeah it was a definitely a safety hazard so we yeah. either need to put like a railing or build a wall so there would need to be some sort of construction done yes backyard was super cute the downstairs basement there was only one there was only one bathroom upstairs and that's, that's the, the biggest contrast. bathroom downstairs was the scariest really thing i've ever seen in my life it was like a like a metal shower and then just like light bulbs like yeah. hanging from the Very wires dangerous. it was so it that was would really need bad. to be another construction thing. it would have to be a construction <laughs> project which we're not afraid of no. that necessarily i like doing kind of stuff like that you yeah. know i've done a lot of stuff like that in the past if you guys are ogs yeah. you remember we've done some renovation projects on this channel before more so just projects. a gamble because you would have to do so much more so yes yeah. the house is cheaper but you would have to put so much more money into it yes. kitchen this was our cheapest i house. loved the kitchen the kitchen was so cute it was very small but it was like set up so nicely and then it like looked down into like the dining area and the mm -hmm. living room area which i really really liked that was a garage conversion too but yeah so it didn't have a garage mm -hmm. so that is also a con there was just so many little things that would have to be changed like yeah. there, like the flooring in a lot of places the bathroom upstairs even was pretty ugly and, yeah the kitchen cabinets would need to be painted there's just little there's things a lot like of, it's it, there were so many like little things i'd want to mm -hmm. do but then also big things Ta on the technical side of things the pipes were mm -hmm. not good i could see a lot of the pipes that were there obviously i didn't do like a full home inspection or anything right but they're is a possibility of lead poisoning with these Ooh. types of pipes. They're very old, yeah. so. But that's something, again, we would replace. It would have to be another project. But then it project. would be more money to put into it. Right. This is the Groovy Gamble house. Woo! So, that's so great I want to hear what you guys have to say. Ah! Which house do you think we picked? <laughs> message us on Instagram. Yeah, message you know, us on Instagram. Post to your story. Post we'll repost story. it. Whatever we'll you want to do. Repost it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited though you guys I think when are we announcing the house is it gonna be the next video after this goes live yes okay so the next video if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe mm -hmm. so you know what house we went with I think you guys will be so excited and especially when we do the house tour I think you guys will really it'll make sense why we chose the house we chose because mm -hmm. it's just so us it's so perfect and but I can't believe we're moving I can't I believe we bought our dream house I'm ah! excited Woohoo! Anyway, that's the secret that we've been keeping for you guys for so long. It was so hard. Um, the hardest thing we've ever had to keep from you guys because we did not keep our pregnancy for that long from you guys. No. Like a couple days <laughs> yeah. after we found out she was pregnant. We, we were like, like, okay, we're pregnant. Definitely let us know what you think and we will see you guys in our next video with our announcement. Woohoo! <laughs> Bye guys!